Hello friends, welcome to my channel Data Making. In this channel, we post a lot of technical content on data engineering and data science and also cloud technologies. Please subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed. And thank you so much for all your support towards our YouTube channel Data Making. Uh, please share this information to your friends to help larger learning community. Let's get started. So in this video, I'm going to focus about how to install a Kibana. So Kibana is a free and open user uh, interface that lets you visualize your data in uh, Elasticsearch. So we know Elasticsearch is a search engine which uh, holds a lot of uh, huge number of uh, documents and uh, it's a distributed uh, uh, NoSQL data store, uh, document data, data. Uh, you can also uh, consider as a dis uh, distributed uh, uh, document oriented NoSQL data store. And uh, if you put a document in your, uh, so in Elasticsearch, you can actually query in a very faster manner because it's one of the best search engine in the recent times. Okay, so we are going to install it uh, this Kibana, and we are going to build this uh, use case in the coming up videos uh, to store data in uh, Elasticsearch and uh, uh, query the data from the uh, Elasticsearch and show it as a visualization in Kibana. Okay, it's one of the good visualization tool. So let's get started. So you can take your uh, uh, public IP address from the EC2 instance and uh, I, al I already opened uh, my uh, EC2 instance. Okay, so using a putty utility. So this EC2 instance has Ubuntu uh, operating system Ubuntu 18.04. Right, so what are the steps you need to follow is basically Elasticsearch has to be installed. So because uh, uh, when you do uh, a sudo app get install kibana what it does is it goes and refer the uh, uh, the packages uh, uh, from your uh, uh, package list uh, for the uh, uh, elastic search so basically uh, kibana and loxes is a part of elastic search package so that has to be uh, added to your uh, source list please refer the uh, elastic search installation uh, elastic search installation uh, for the better understanding uh, so that's what I put pre-request here as Elasticsearch. You can verify the Elasticsearch installation is uh, proper uh, by running this curl command. So if I run curl if an x get of uh, this HTTP uh, uh, URL which is localhost 9200. Basically Elasticsearch runs on this web. Uh, uh, the web URL for Elasticsearch is or REST uh, uh, API for the Elasticsearch is running on the port number 9200. Okay, so so that means Elasticsearch is running. Now we have to install the Kibana. It's just a very simple command. Uh, sudo uh, apt get apt and get install Kibana. So it is going to launch a, a key, it's going to install a Kibana. So it takes uh, some 328 uh, MB of uh, uh, data to download it. So it is going to install the it is going to download. This is the uh, the uh, repository I was talking about packages this is the package URL for Elasticsearch which has both uh, uh, Kibana and Logstash so this has to be added to your resource list that we have done while installing the Elasticsearch please refer those videos uh, I will add it in the description section of this video please refer those uh, to build this uh, EC2 instance I put a playlist where we created a how to create a AWS uh, uh, account and how to create a EC2 instance and install all these softwares. I put a separate playlist you can just watch those playlist. So it is unpacking the Kibana so it is already downloaded. So let this guest uh, uh, installed. So and the we need to so Kibana is a visualization tool right it's a web based tool. So we need to make sure the port number uh, uh, Port number 560 is enabled. So uh, before this gets uh, uh, installed, so what we'll do is we'll just go and modify our uh, uh, firewall rule. Okay, so you can go to the security group. In the this is the uh, dashboard of EC2 instance in the AWS console, and open a, a security group called uh, Data Making SG. So my group is this one. So. I'll open this. So in the inbound rule, so what I will do is I will add a couple of inbound, uh, couple of port number. One is for uh, uh, 
for the kibana uh, for the kibana port number is we'll be configuring the port number 5601 and also 9200 is the elastic search one i will also add that that as well so it is now it is i think installed it is it is installed kibana is installed so let's add this firewall rule and come back so one is for kibana 5601 let's make sure it is 5601 Yeah, it is five six zero one. Then uh, we'll just for now we'll put all the public access, and then one more is nine two double zero for the elastic search uh, REST API nine two double zero. Okay, and then we save this rule. Okay, these two are saved. Just make sure it is added. So one is five six zero one and nine two double zero. Okay, so these two are added. Now what we need to do is we just have to uh, just make sure it is uh, running. Okay, so just go here. So before starting the Kibana, uh, we have to modify the uh, URL. Okay, so. we we go we open this file okay so there is a file called uh, kibana.yml under slash etc slash kibana we just open this file come to so you can modify the set of the properties you can go on modify here or you can just let it be whatever commented out here in the end you add whatever you want to modify right so i'll just keep this so kibana the server port is this one and the server host okay so server name okay so here this one is port is 5601 and uh, server host will put internal ip address of this okay so that we have to we are going to access from the our browser so it has to uh, access our uh, the is it instance though for that we have to put our uh, you just find out the internal ip address of this which is uh, 172.31.41.188 or you can just uh, for the is it instance dashboard just go to instances uh, so here you see there is uh, internal ip private ip address you take this and then you put in instead of local host you put this and and similarly server name we put uh, server name or server host actually we have to do you will just check and uh, elastic search host we have to put like this okay and we'll modify that as well so instead of local host we'll put this this one okay mm, fine okay so this is done you save this details control o enter x control s saved it now we can start the kibana okay so what is the command to run a kibana the command is sys sudo system ctl start kibana okay so i'll just start and also i will just enable to run from the uh, when you run from the so when the system is boot up this service will run and we already started just to check the status okay so we can just check the status uh, sudo system ctl stat us status kibana so it says running okay so what we'll do is okay so now we have to access this uh, file uh, we will access the uh, take the public ip address okay and access this kibana url 5601 Okay, this is the port number. The Kibana dashboard will open. It says uh, 
this says it's not running mm, okay so okay this is start status it looks like skivana is running but we will make sure Just a minute, I am checking whether the Kibana is running. Looks like. Well, we checked here, it was running. Uh, something has happened. Okay. It is running, but only thing is through Web UI we are not able to run. Okay. Okay, so which is five six zero one only. Port number is five six zero one. So what we'll do is okay, we will check one more thing. We will check this uh, nine two. This is working nine two double zero, which is which is our. Uh, uh, which is our uh, elastic search uh, the rest api which is also not running okay let me pause this video and i'll check what is happening okay so what we are going to do is uh, there is a small change we need to do so uh, let's stop this uh, kibana once we stop the kibana and uh, so in the uh, we put uh, uh, server uh, uh, server dot name instead of we'll put server dot host still it is uh, trying to stop and also you have to do one more thing is we have to to access the elastic search from outside we also change the uh, uh, elastic search uh, uh, sorry yeah elastic search uh, um, configuration file okay so which will be okay, let me check this is stopping okay let's get stop so we will also stop the elastic search sudo So it's taking time. Okay, I will just open new window. I think it is consuming a lot of resource, so it's getting stuck. Let's wait for some time. So we need to change this uh, property. So we will make uh, instead of server name, we comment out this, comment out uh, this, and we will use server dot host and uh, server dot host will put zero dot zero dot zero dot we will put this okay server at host will put 0, 0.0.0 .0. and similarly in the elastic search uh, okay so in the elastic search so there is a uh, configuration file right so here uh, the network dot host there is a property called network dot host so we'll make this as the internal IP address of the uh, 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 EC2 instance. Okay, so our private e private IP address of the EC2 instance, which is basically this one, this this port number. So we will add this entry into that file, this elastic search uh, configuration file. So before that, let us check this stop. Yeah, it is stopped. Similarly, we'll stop the elastic search also. 
or we will mod just modify this file this kibana dot uh, yml file will open and come to the bottom of the page we will comment out uh, this one and we will put the server dot host server dot host we will put server dot host as 0.0.0 ok so when we save this control x enter control o enter control x and similarly we will stop the elastic search also as we have to make one change elastic search this is for status let's stop this so this is also stop status we will check the status for kibana uh, that should be kibana. so that was stopped yeah so elastic search also stopped now we'll modify this uh, file right so open this Elasticsearch uh, YAML file and then uh, so we have a property called network host uh, you see here there is a network host here you have to give the public address we just start it in the end sorry uh, uh, private IP address which is our internal IP address just add here control X control O enter control X so now we will go and start the uh, first elastic search uh, elastic search will st start this S T A R T, and followed by we will start the kibana So it will take some time to start um, Elasticsearch. Okay, so it is throwing some error. Yes, run this. So it says. Excuse me, sorry. Just throwing some error. Lost service. Okay, that's all fine. I think this is just a two stash was running I guess that uh, let us stop the log stash for now logs we we'll stop the log stash check the log stash is running oh my god we have to stop this mm -hmm. let's check the status So we make sure log stash stop. Now we will try to run the elastic search again. Let's see what happens. Okay, once we start elastic search successfully, then we will go on to start the kibana. But still, it's throwing error. Again, we will run this. It says failed to start Elasticsearch. What is the reason? No, don't know what is the reason. Mm, okay, we will go and check this log. 
let's do search. We'll do LS for this. So hmm, okay, which one you have to select? Okay, so we will select this Elasticsearch dot log to get some uh, info. Uh, okay, Elastics. Uh, Elastics. This one we'll try to get some lock of sudo tail of and some um, dot lines. So what it says is a publish uh, You must address the one description in the following ways before the rest of search. Mm, I don't see any error. Mm. Okay, so the public IP address is. Uh, so the web web interfaces web interfaces actually uh, sorry the REST APIs runs on 92 uh, okay 9200 but this RPC port is 9300 I guess start is starting properly uh, control to stop this is what should be what will be the problem I don't see any error here all are info only. Okay, we will check some other file. There is a GC. We shall be check this. Okay, GC dot log. There also no information. Search elastic search L elastic elastic search. This is JSON file. We will try to run again because we have not much information regarding any specific issue. Okay, again we will try to run. So, and also. Looks like this failed only. <coughs> it's stopping. Uh, okay, so bootstrap checks failed. Why it is failed? Uh, the public IP address is like. Mm. It says uh, cluster and this is master node must be configured. Okay, so you are you must uh, address the points described in the following lines before starting Elasticsearch. Boost of sex failure. Default discovery settings are uh, unsuitable for production use. At least of 
okay so this is something uh, let's uh, do this okay so before that i will also try to start the kibana sudo system ctl system ctl system ctl start kibana at least we will check whether that is starting Status looks like this is starting. We we'll just uh, try to access the web UI. Kibana web UI. It should be three dot two something, right? We'll just uh, search this. So meanwhile, I'll get the IP address of this public IP address. Colon Kibana is five six zero one. So it says Kibana server is not ready yet. So that means <coughs> it is not able to access the uh, Elastic Search because Elast Elastic Search is not running. So we'll just fix this issue. Why Elastic Search on EC2 instance is not running? Okay, so mostly this is kind of known issue people have faced. Okay, so. We can just uh, describe type. We uh, make single node. Uh, single node. So we have to specify this one like this. Okay. They're saying uh, uh, this is the configuration. Uh, okay. So we will put. This also. Okay, so we will try to put this. Okay, so we will check. Okay, now this is running. So here we will open the Elastic Search configuration file and then go to the bottom. We will just comment out this. Do this. Control O. Enter. Control X. Now let's try to start this. So we're making uh, network dot host as zero dot zero dot dot zero. So four zeros separated by dots. Mm. Let's see whether this is getting started. Yeah, I think this is starting. Uh, okay, and you can mention STAT. Yes, yes, so this is starting now. Let's refresh that. Uh, this one, okay. Kibana is launching, very good. So, I'll just go and correct it here. This we made it as this one this entry and in the kibana we just anyway this is correct only and elastic search we kept it as uh, already given if i think given is uh, an internal ip address i guess let me verify that mm. i think with that it works We gave the internal IP address. Okay. So with this, it see to us. Mm, okay. Fine. Anyway, for now, we just give this and. Uh, okay. So these are the changes we did. In Kibana side, server port as five six zero one and the host as server at host as zero dot zero dot zero dot zero. <laughs> And the LS6 was just HTTP colon the private IP address 9200. So let's uh, try to okay. So in the from the keep uh, from the elastic search side, we just uh, put this entries. We will also try to access the uh, elastic search uh, the REST API, which is uh, 9200. 
yeah this is also running cool fine so i think we are good so we installed a kibana successfully and also we made some modification on the elastic search component configuration file uh, so basically you have to go to this uh, there is a so you can add data so so you can just get the data uh, from the log stash sorry from the uh, particular key, um, elastic search index and uh, query the data and uh, build the uh, visualization so we can do a lot of steps so in the coming of video we'll just build the dashboard and i'll show it to you thank you so much friends uh, please subscribe to my channel to get uh, 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 more uh, technical content thank you so much